What's up, everyone? Welcome back to 865 RC Mania. I'm Michael Hogan, aka RC Attic 420. And today, I just wanted to give you guys a look inside what I run out on the track with my HBE8 World Spec. So, here we've got the box for the HBE8 World Spec that it comes in. And inside, we run the Gen Zace 6000 Ma 4S 130C LiPo high voltage battery with the bullet connectors. I've got XT90s soldered on right now, uh, only because that's the only way I had to charge them at the time, but I've got that corrected, so I'm going to all bullet connectors here within this next week or so. Um, and on the body here for this one, this is the first body we've gotten for it. My wife painted it. Um, you can find stuff of hers on Facebook at Ashley's Signs and More. Um, she does woodwork, uh, vinyls, uh, she just got a sublimation printer to start doing more sweatshirts, t-shirts, stuff like that. So check her out there, Ashley Signs and More on Facebook. Uh, but this is a lead finger racing uh, Beretta body for the HB E8 or the HB 819 RS. Um, it's a little bit beat up, we've had to tape it, we've got some RC body armor on the inside there. Um, but it's that body armor seems to hold it pretty well the edges kind of come undone when you beat the hell out of it like i do but you know that happens it's racing so with that being said we actually got this body it is the j concepts s15 body meant for the hbe8 world spec or the 819rs and this was recommended to us by Chad Cup with N2RC out there at the local hobby uh, hobby shop by the track there at Rock Racing. So we're going to get that all painted up, cut out, and put on here soon. Um, but anyways, for the battery, we run this iMars D300 from Jens Ace. Um, it's a dual battery charger. Uh, it runs off of XT60 connectors that connect into it. It can be hooked up to a power supply and run even faster or more powerful charge times. Um, and with that being said, the battery powers the Tekken T8 Gen 3 uh, 1900 kV motor with a 17 tooth pinion and I believe it's a 43 tooth spur gear. I didn't build the kit. Uh, my buddy Donald Hayes out at Rock Racing, he's the president out at the track. He built the kit for me. Um, I did all the soldering and electronics myself, but he built the actual physical kit for me uh, just to get me up in racing. But um, I got that Tekken motor uh, paired with a uh, XR8 Hobby Wing Gen 3 uh, ESC, 200 amp ESC, with a. Um, Protec RC servo. I don't remember what the exact model is, but it's a Protec RC. Sorry, I had a brain fart there for a second. But with that, I run a J Concepts hybrid tires and wheels. And I've got J and T Bearing Company. I've got their carbon inserts in here, in here for the arms in the front and rear all the way around. Uh, I've got the J and T Bearing carbon rear chassis brace and differential um i guess holder you could say center differential holder uh, along with their the nice carbon fiber battery brace that comes with the hb in their products uh, i'm running what is it that i'm running uh 500 450 I think it's 500, and, yeah, 500 in the front, 450 shock on the rear because it's colder. Uh, the differentials, I'm not sure what he put in it, but I want to say it's the stock box setup. And for the receiver and transmitter combo, we are running this Fly Sky Noble NB4. And I love this remote. I absolutely love this remote. I came from my Radio Link RC8X, which I do love. Don't get me wrong, I love it for bashing and whatnot. But for the response times that you need in racing, I highly recommend the Noble MB4. It's the cheaper option, unless you want to go with the Sandwall, which is never a bad option to go with. Don't get me wrong. But the Noble MB4 is where it's at if you don't want to shell out a bunch of money for it. Uh, it's super responsive. It's got 180 plus degree radius you can turn the wheel for however you want to hold it 
um, can hold up to 20 models, I do believe. It's got an internal battery in here in the handle. And how to charge it is, it's got a separate power bank that you can actually use to charge your cell phones and stuff. It's got a USB port. But it takes a micro USB to charge this, and then you just slide this on like this. It's got this little piece right here at the bottom. And it goes in the bottom of your handle right here. And it just snaps back. I can get it. Just snaps into place there like that. And power it on. But it has got options that I'm not even sure of yet. Like, I haven't played with it a whole lot. Um, but it's a damn good remote. Super responsive. And easy to use, to be honest with you. And I'm running the, the FlySky FGR4B, which is the updated receiver. It allows you to uh, control and customize each channel individually so you can set your servo individually to whatever voltage and stuff you want to run it at and it doesn't control the esc nothing that just affects your servo um it doesn't control the whole system like the stock fgr s or 4s or something like that i think it is but this is the updated version uh, super easy to use, super easy to buy, and I highly recommend it. It works with the FlySky Noble NB4 and the NB4 Pro. So if you don't want the Pro, you don't want to shell out the money for it, the NB4 is pretty much the exact same thing. Um, just doesn't have that color screen like the NB4 Pro does. It doesn't come with that immediate phone mount like the Pro does. Uh, there's a few other features that the Pro has that this doesn't, but not to the point where you really need to shell out the extra money for it if you're not like if you need a more budget friendly one this is pretty pretty much the exact same thing and it's it's well worth it i got mine on amazon i do believe it was for 219 dollars and they come with two receivers um and i, I couldn't couldn't complain i love that remote <laughs> But as far as this car goes, uh, I've run three races with it so far. Uh, I just just got into racing. It was my third career race this past weekend at Rock Racing's Disco Brawl, as I'm sure you all have seen in my previous videos. Uh, I've also posted the previous two races. Before that, I run the Novice Class. And I was doing good in the, in the qualifiers this past Saturday, but unfortunately... Um, I just hit a bunch of traffic and had some rookie mistakes and couldn't overcome them in the A main and ended up placing fifth. But it's not too bad. I mean, I don't really go out there for the wins and losses. Uh, it'd be nice if I get them, but I, that's not what I aim for. I aim on to go out there and just have fun and race RCs with other people who just love to race RCs. And it's awesome doing that. And the Tekken motor is outstanding. Um... When they say it is one of the best on the market for racing, they're not lying. It, it performs outstanding, especially paired with that Hobby Wing, the Hobby Wing ESC. You just you can't go wrong with it, especially when you got the bigger jumps like we do out at Rock. Um, JT Bearing Company they make outstanding parts for these race rigs like the HB, and they're strong, durable. Highly recommend them if you got HB products. I highly re recommend HB. And keep in mind, guys. And girls, I am not sponsored in any, in any kind of way, shape, and or form by any of these companies for anything in, at all. This is all stuff I have personally bought myself to put on this car, including the car itself. Um, I get no kickbacks, nothing from any of these companies. This is all personal use and honest opinion coming from me with these cars and what i've seen other people running them uh donald hayes out there at rock racing chad cup within 2rc and a slew of other people out at rock racing run hb products so i've seen them run i've run it myself they are amazing cars they're light they're fast they're nimble and honestly they're not they're not hard to work on they're 
from what I've heard, putting them together for the first time can be a little bit confusing with their instruction manual, but to maintain them, it's not super difficult at all. Um, I love this car. You can't go wrong with it. So if you're your newbie looking to get into the racing, I highly recommend the 819 or the E8 World Spec or the, the E8T Evo 3 Truggy, if that's what you're into. Um, their products are just outstanding. I highly recommend them, y'all. But anyways, I just wanted to give y'all in some insight on what I personally run on the track and, you know let y'all know so you can kind of use the same setups if that's what you like and whatnot um i don't know let me know what y'all what y'all running your setups on the track in the comments and until next time y'all this is michael hogan 865 rc mania where car play harder don't forget to like share and subscribe